My name is Darren Keck. I'm a senior in the computer science. So this project originated from Music 399, and uh, it was a neat course that kind of took you over a lot of different foundations in performing digital art, including building your own instrument. I thought Darren's project showcased uh, the essence of what the class was trying to accomplish in terms of realizing a final instrument that you could perform on, but it also showcased the level of ingenuity behind uh, developing it. This first one here is controlling the rate at which new notes are generated. Uh, this uh, second uh, knob is for uh, letting me choose the range of notes to pot potentially pick. I can either narrow it down to just two notes or up to, I think, nine. Uh, the third one is for the number of voices I'm able to layer, which goes all the way down to two and then up to eight as well. And there's a, just a general volume control and then finally something that will stop or start the generation of new notes. If I stop it, what's going to happen is whatever notes are playing uh, currently, those will just sit there and loop over and over again. It merges his experience with programming and working with the computer in a way that creates a symbiosis between his knowledge of music theory and the different styles of music that he's trying to create with the instrument as well as makes it a real-time performance. When I'm putting together a piece using this control, there's a check on a box which starts to trigger new notes and that's what you can see kind of occurring now with those black uh, circles kind of going off. Those are new samples being loaded into each of those player objects at the bottom of the screen. Now there's three uh, controls moving left and right next to that kind of X that was marked. Rhythmic data, sample range, and number of voices. And that's what I'm kind of changing, either allowing the notes to be generated faster, more notes to be included, or the number of voices to be overlaid. Um, that's what I'm changing. The music speaks for itself, um, and the, I think the instrument is a good example of what we're capable of doing today with the technologies that are available. As long as someone has access to them and an introduction to what they can do and perhaps an even intuitive path into working with those tools.